Hello everyone, my name is Rudifa. I have just started my first year at the University of Birmingham. This video will talk about how to get the contours of the Sudoku grid. So if you don't know what I am talking about, go in the description to, the f to my first video to understand what projects I am talking about. So if you know this project, let's get started. So here we are, we are in the Jupyter Notebook. So it is the same project as we did uh, in the last video. So just CB2, Cap Video Capture. Uh, we just added a definition, we are going to talk about this later. Uh, we have also added a modification of the image. So let's take a look at each of them. So image query is CV2 CV color. It is a CV2 function to modify the color. Uh, so, the f so the image we are going to change is the origin original image, this one. And we are going to do the CV2 color PGR to gray. So we are turning the colored video into grayscale. Then we got the image blur, which is slightly blurring the, the image. And then we got the image Kani. So it is the, the image Kani is the most important part in computer vision because it will help the computer getting the, all the contours. Then we got the image copy, this one, which is an, just a copy of the original image because we'll need that for cut contours. So before jumping into the definition, into the function, sorry, we're going to, uh, let me show you what is image Kani. So CV2, I am show webcam image Kani. Run all. So that is an image Kani. It is uh, it, just a, a black video with white contours. And that's how we are going to detect the contours. So let me shut, in, shut down this. Uh, so, so just put back to image copy. So let's take a look at the function get contours. So as we, as you can see that we got two pa parameters, image Kani and image copy. So in the definition we got image and original image. That means the the Im all the variables image you see there, here and well that's it. Uh, will be replaced by image Kani. The original image you can find here is um, is replaced by image copy, uh, an original copy of this image. Okay. So okay. So we got contours Erachi, Erachi, uh which is uh, the CV2 find contours IMG, which is the image Kani, CV2 return external, CV2 chain Apox none. So the the library will detect all the contours and the area detected. So for contours in contours, well that's just, just a different variable. So the area, actually we don't need that for now. So the area is the CV2 contour area of the of the contour, the new variable. And then we got the CV2 draw contours to the original image, so the uh, copy of the original webcam. Uh, the contours and minus one. Uh, here you got the, the value which is PGR. So here I got 0, 255, 0, which means that the blue will be at 0, the red will be at 0, but the green will be at the highest. So the program will draw green contours. Then we got the last number is the thickness of the, of the drawing. Let's put that to 2 because 3 is a bit big. And that's it. Now let's test it. Yeah, so do you remember the image Kani black uh, with the white contours? Well, that, that, that's just the, the same, but with a colored image and with green contours. So it has detected my face, my glasses, everything, even my even the letters in my shirts, my hands, uh, everything. But as you can see, there is too much small details like this, even in my mouth, even in my nose. And we only want to detect the Sudoku grids. We don't want the cells, the little... The, the the digits we don't want we don't want that so how we are going to do this let me show you 
So let's back to the definition. As I can, as I say, the area is the is the contour area. So FCV two can actually detect the area. So do you know what we are going to do? Take the contour only if the area is higher than a certain number. So let's do this. If area is higher than, let's put a thousand. We'll see. So it will draw the contours only if the area detected is higher than a thousand. Let's check that. So as you can see, we got no contour detected. Oh yeah. So as you can see, my spec is detected. So we'll try with the, the Sudoku. Yeah, it's still uh, detecting the Sudoku, but sometimes is it detects the the, the the middle square, and we don't want that. So let's put that number higher. We'll put 10,000 actually, it should work. Well, it works better, but it's still sometimes detecting the middle cells. So instead of going up, 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 and up, we can do print area. Okay, so you you can uh, you can use this function only if your area is higher than a big number, because otherwise it will just print a lot of little areas detected. For example, the nose, the glasses, the eyes, the mouth there, and we don't want that. So here I I am I am sure it will only detect the Sudoku grids and the middle cells. So we can just do that. So it didn't print anything, that means it hasn't been detected. Yeah, we can see that the area is higher than... Well, or I think we can say about 60,000. Run all. And yeah, that is, as you, as you can see, only the Sudoku grid is detected, not the little, tiny little cells like before, because I have uh, checked the, um, the area of the, of the Sudoku, and I know it's higher than 60,000. 60, and uh, yeah, that's, the, that, that, that's the, biggest, the biggest number it has detected. So yeah, we can, we can use that, because, um, because otherwise it will detect all the, the little cells and digits we don't want that we only want the sudoku grids okay so thank you for watching this video so now you know how to detect the contours of a square and if you enjoy it don't forget to subscribe share and activate the notifications if you haven't done it yet so next week we are going to wrap this sud this sudoku and put them in the private window so thank you again for watching this and see you next week